Correct and wonderful people, how una day? Welcome back to Tessis TV. We don't carry another open gateway. We can't give una about waiting the sub for palace. As the information whether the wishes known from inside the palace of Oni is that uh, Olori Miriam collapsed in the palace and was rushed to hospital on hearing that um, the recent project where the first lady of Nigeria came to the palace to commission that KBSC has already given the properties to Queen Naomi and Prince Tedenekawu that their name is the name that is on those properties as they are the only nest of kin to KBSC. And we heard the reason why all of the Miriam collapse is that Miriam contributed a huge amount of money to those projects. Yeah, she contributed a huge amount of money. Like I tell you now, Miriam, money is not her problem. Her only problem in the palace is for KBAC to dissolve Queen Naomi. It's for KBAC to set Queen Naomi free traditionally. As in, she doesn't want Queen Naomi in the palace. She wants to take over the palace totally as the first wife, as the Yeloa of the source. But it's impossible. Yeah, Kabiese has told her that your demands are not possible. It is impossible because he is not the one that made Mommy Tedene Kawo the chosen one. Yeah, it is the God, the Olodu Mera himself that chose Queen Naomi. So he cannot take away that title from Mommy Tedene Kawo. Yes. So for the Yeyelua of the source to be your title or for you to become the first wife of a Kabi AC or the Yeloa of the source of Eleve Kingdom, it is not going to happen because the gods are the one that is giving the title. I am not the one giving the title. And since Olori Miriam entered palace, we heard that the gods has refused to bestow any title on Miriam and Ronke. Not to talk of attention seeker Ashley uh, Temitope. They don't have any title at all. It is only Mommy Tadenekau that was given the title of the Yeloa of the Source because we heard that Kabi is married Queen Naomi very well. Yeah, Kabi is paid everything. Kabi is did everything on Queen Naomi's head traditionally, spiritually. Because Kabi is told that Queen Naomi is going to last forever in the palace. He thought that he's going to grow old with Mommy Tadenekau. But as we are all saying, it is no longer working out. Though he is still trying everything possible to know whether Queen Naomi will return back. To know, know whether they will still get back together as husband and wife. We heard that the three wise men that came to the palace today told Kabiyesi what and what he needs to do in order to bring Queen Naomi back. Yes, and for the Oloris today. They said they wanted to do it themselves. But KBSC did not give them the chance because they might do it in such a way that will make the Oloris to run mad. And KBSC cannot be able to return mad women back to their, to their families. He married them as they were saying. So even if they are going to leave the palace, they will live as insane human beings and not insane human beings. That is why KBSC said no to the three wise men. Don't do anything. Let me use my hand. So we heard they told Kabiesi, this is what and what you have to do to bring back your wife and send the ones waiting for palace out. And we heard that Kabiesi has vowed to do that. Yes, that he's going to do everything humanly possible to bring Queen Naomi back to the palace. And we pray that it works out for him because... This palace, if it, it continues to go this way that it is already going, we don't know when the stories that are coming out of this palace is going to end. Yeah, plenty of stories, plenty of news are coming out of the palace. Not because of KBS, but because of what the Oloris are doing there. Yeah, none of them love each other, none of them care for each other. And for that, it is causing big time problem for KBAC. So right now, my wonderful people, Olori Mariam, she thought that once she entered palace, she would take over from Queen Naomi. Even we are hearing rumors that she paid to, for Kabiesi to marry, marry her as the first wife. Yes, 
She paid for Kabiesi to marry her before marrying Dr. Lizzie. Dr. Lizzie would have been the person Kabiesi would have married before other Oluris. But this person paid for her to become the first. And she came in thinking that Naomi don't leave, that when Naomi no go return again. It was shocking to her when Naomi came into the royal manor. That is to show how that in future, ah, when Naomi could still come back. If Prince Tedenekawa grows now, if he reach 18 years, Prince Tedenekawa will enter back to the palace and will carry her mom into the palace. The same way Adewa Mewa brought her mother back to the palace. Because we all saw that Adema, Adewa Mewa's mother was present on the day of the Oloja festival. Yeah, she was there dancing and celebrating with her daughter. That is to tell you that both of them are living there. Yeah, Kabi Esi might not marry her as uh, his wife, but we heard that Adewa Miwa's mother is now having access to the palace and soon she will get apartment and she is one of Kabi Esi's concubines. So when Naomi's own is, gone, is not going to be different, they might keep on having issues and issues. And in future, when Naomi will return back, that is why I keep telling people, since they have had a child together, a son being the first male child of Kabi Esi, Kabi is no go fit live with Naomi. You know they're possible. Yes, because Kabi is I mean, Queen Naomi is the person that proved to the world that Kabi is is fertile, that Kabi is isn't important, that Kabi is can have a male child. That is to tell you why Kabi is loved with Naomi so dearly. And not only that, she came in as a virgin. It was Kabi Esi over at Teyeye that the flowered mommy said in Kabu, which we all know about. So for Kabi Esi to forget about Queen Naomi like that, it is not something that is going to happen. And the earlier the Oloris understand that, the better for them. So right now, Olori Miriam, she collapsed. She was rushed to hospital on hearing that the properties, the project that the first lady of the country came into the palace yesterday to commission that the same project was in Prince Tedinikawa's name was in Queen Naomi's name. And we heard that she invested a huge amount of money in those properties. So she is the one at loss. She is losing big time this time around. That is why she couldn't bear the trauma and the pain. She collapsed in the palace and was rushed to the hospital. So my correct and wonderful people, now waiting with they here with the stuff for palace as alleged. I beg or make when I try to come out for this matter. Drop your comments, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel. Stay tuned, stay connected for more updates will be dropping from time to time. About waiting this stuff for palace and for my returning subscribers, I can never cease to appreciate all of you. You guys are the real MVPs. I love you guys so very much for always coming by to my channel. Thank you.